What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good. You? Not bad. I'm on location right now, getting the VV <laughs> details. Make sure that we're on on track. But uh, yeah, if you're new here, do not forget become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post. We did a juicy, juicy AMA with Reese and Pudding Cheeks about the OUP <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. The user submitted questions. Make sure you go check out that video. Lots of knowledge. You will learn a lot. You can also become a superstar VIP. Uh, get a badge next to your name. Star in the universe at the end of every month. Access to our drop spreadsheets. Our buys and sells. We'll advertise for you. It's a great program. <laughs> First dibs on merch. We need to get superstar money beanies. I got the wrong hat on today. But um, yeah, definitely appreciate all the superstar VIPs um, who have supported us throughout the, the days and the ages here. So uh, shout out to all you guys. Also, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You got uh, Discord in the description. Best Discord of all time. We got a ma many, many AMA questions from there. And we have a P.O. box in the description. If you want to become a Superstar Hall of Famer, send us some something cool. All right, guys. If, don't forget. Check out our AMA with Reese. We did it yesterday. We have it pinned right now on our Twitter. You can always find it. Somebody was asking where to find it. It's, some have called it actually the greatest AMA of all time. So there's a special shout out here. Will goes meta. Man, shout out to Superstar Money, one of the best Omi interviews ever. Great job, guys. Fantastic questions. Everybody go check it out. So thank you for the shout out. Definitely got to check it out. Also, there's been some predictions from VVOG for 5,000 uh, Mint Comics to prevent the $1 comic prediction. Uh, so guys, subscribe to VVOG, our good friend. You don't want to miss them. Uh, very, very good job by Ed. Ed did this beautiful edit. You got Superstar Money, your boys beat up by uh, VVRK. Man, this Photoshop is too good way too good uh blue todd from tales from the rizzo did a pretty cool job here blending the black and the or the blue and the black so very well done um guys our our tree we are the shining star at the top of the tree if you're not here we still love you it's a mistake uh, if you're not there <laughs> it's just a mistake if you're not there it's just a mistake vv magic's looking for to do a video of all sorts of giveaways you can give her ideas jimbo lee lingo we know for sure is going to be there uh, Silicon Secure, I think he's selling his his uh, his paired blue and black Todd. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Uh, thank you, Cheryl Delgado, for reaching out to us. Made a TikTok here on uh, Jimbo Lee here. So very cool Batman. And then day three winners. It's C if you're here. If you're here, the, you know, all, 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 you know, great job. Uh, I saw some familiar names in the last one. I saw K-Collect. I wonder if that's K-Collections. I don't know. Um, and we got some Killians here and there. So it may be our, our skateboarder friend. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. So we'll see. And then the big news of today, I would say, is the MetaMask. So it says yeah. here, US users will now be able to fund their wallets with Ethereum via PayPal. What do you think about that? Yeah, PayPal, the whole thing with PayPal has always been like security, not giving out your credit card information, uh, kind of being that middleman. So it's just another layer to help people feel more comfortable getting into crypto. I think it's bullish. Yeah, huge, huge. I like, I like seeing that more opportunities and ways to fund is yeah. obviously a good thing. Uh, Merry Christmas from Cloak. Uh, he's feeling the juju, so Merry Christmas to you. May the juju be with you. Um, and then, yeah, VV's Twitter. I think the big thing, we got, we got Rizzo coming up. So don't forget it tomorrow. Set your alarms. This is a big ticket item. You want to win this. Uh, so good luck. May the juju be with you. Whether you're a flipper or a holder, you do not want to forget to at least go for the straps to say you tried. Uh, we got Tarzan of the Apes. Uh, so if you're into that, you check it out. Uh, this yeah, is they changed the uncommon. They made the uncommon uh, different than the secret rare from the other comic. We always we all thought that was the problem. That's why they canceled the drop, and it looks like it was. Uh, we got a new uncommon on this one. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, today's drop, Jim Lee, Batman. Uh, you go for it, Joe. Yeah, I went for it. I landed it. Uh, I did the spamming technique today, different than the Todd. Uh, ended up hitting one, and I flipped it for sixty gems. After the fees, I made like five bucks. Uh, nice. And now I think it's sitting right above, right above listed. So if you sell, you might lose a gem or two. But uh, it's holding. But I think tomorrow you might see it go below, just because people are going to be looking for that hundred gems to go in for for Rizzo. Yeah, we have a price prediction at forty dollars on that. I think eventually it will trend down to that. So yeah. Okay. So today's topic, we wanted to talk a lot today about our a topic from our AMA. We asked Reese about it. We said you have the MCP Pro and you got the OUP, and he said that they're supposed to be complementary. Yeah. So the MCP and the OUP should exist and work together. But for me personally, I'm finding it still parasitic because I, I only have so many funds and I can only put my money either all in on one, half and half, 25, 75, whatever combination you want. And I really want to di uh, dig into a little bit more to see what are potentially the pros and cons. Yeah. So 
as a refresher, I want to go over the MCP Pro article and I want to jump over to the reward program and OUP. Okay. okay. So let's start off with the uh, MCP Pro. So to start, there will be small percentage bonus on all points earned. So the more points you have, the more points you're going to get because of the bonus. So that's one thing that kind of is a positive feedback loop feeds itself, which is a benefit of MCP. You get exclusive MCP Pro badges to display in your showrooms and you get premium user profile badge. I think this is going to be relevant in the VV verse where people want to flex. Yeah. To say like, look, I'm, I'm high ranked on the MCP. I got this, this premium user profile badge. Check it out. So maybe it will be worth some more value in the future when you can use it as a way to basically market your land or whatever else you want to do with it. Um, you can display rarity and addition number next to collectibles in the showrooms and AR. So I think this is so underrated and that in the VV verse, people will want to for sure flex the mint numbers they have. What do you think? I think if you can make offers, I think that's huge. I think uh, people will be running up to guys in the VV verse and like, what mint number is it? Okay, offer. And uh, I think you're going to have more options to offer. Uh, we know Omi is probably going to be included at that point. Um, and there's going to be other things. Maybe maybe there will be swaps or trades or something. We don't know We don't know what to expect from the VV verse. Uh, we just know that if, if you have more transparency and you're able to see other people's things, which we're hoping is is the first thing that you can do on uh, in the VV verse there. I think having this feature is definitely a, a very big bonus. Yep. Cool feature, auto bid feature for market auctions. Maybe there's some opportunity there to take advantage. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Right? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see when it comes out. Maybe there is. Yeah. Uh, access to exclusive content. This is very interesting. Accessories and collectibles. So you get access to exclusive collectibles. Access to exclusive accessories. What are they? I don't know. Because it's VV, okay, not OUP, because it's through the VV app, it is very possible that that exclusive content is still potentially licensed IP. Uh, maybe. Because it's within the VV app, but I don't know for sure. If it's not, I don't see how it makes it any different than the OUP, which we'll go over It later. would be up to licensors for sure if they even want to go that route, if they want to limit who has availability to their IP, right? So uh, we know VV for sure can, can use their IP. I'm sure you'll see some artist stuff with that uh but i mean the other ip i think it's going to be dependent on the ip yep and then if so high mcp pro you can burn collectibles for points yeah maybe that's relevant uh you get free drop raffle tickets per month i swear that's bronze tickets that's bronze yeah, tickets pretty much so you could get bronze tickets through fam cp pro yeah which is good to know you get access to renting collectibles that's huge because that's, that's sometimes big. on the oup side you gotta lock up a lot of money do Does that. that mean you can only rent them if you have MCP Pro or you can only rent them out? Like, are you the, the store or the customer if you have Pro? Good question, actually. We yeah. should have asked that. I, uh, I understood this as both. You could rent and be the renter. I feel like anyone could be the renter. I think you need everybody to be the renter or else it doesn't work. Right? Anyone yeah. could rent, but only some could rent out. And yeah. I think that that's what that is. I hope so. Extended AR features, which we did ask. He and Reese wouldn't, he wouldn't tell us. Yeah. Do you think that's maybe wearables? It has to be. I don't know. It has How to be can, wearables. I don't know. You put on the Superman cape, right? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Maybe they just thought like, you know what? We'll figure out. Maybe they know more about the technology than we do. Uh, we have to do a deep dive into that. So generally speaking, I think the MCP Pro is useful because it gets you access to renting. You yeah. still get the ability to get bronze tickets from it. <laughs> um, and you, I, I, it's per month too. It's a monthly payout rather than like the staking tiers. Yeah. where it's only four uh, per year and and uh, you also get one-time bonuses, but this will be every month you're getting extra tickets. Now, they're not telling us the magnitude, but I think that's key. That helps you on special drops, right? You don't have to spend the dollar USD. You're going to get them for free. Yeah. Um, you also have exclusive content access. We don't know how relevant that's going to be yet, so it's very hard to speculate, but it could be relevant, so keep that in mind. And then you have extended AR features which maybe with VVverse, maybe, maybe will matter. But again, we still don't know enough to say for certain how that's going to be. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, you got OUP. Now, the way they've structured the OUP is that they're going to do a, a seasonal reward and a one-time reward, right? So there's four seasons. And there's certain tier levels that you'll be in, and you'll get certain tickets for those tier levels per season, okay? So... Yeah. You're going to get bronze tickets, you can get silver tickets, and you get gold. Gold is the most sought after because the golds are the ones that could be redeemed on any collectible drop or for land, VV versus land, which 
to me, that is the big seller here, right? That is the big seller here. Especially if it's how they described it, where there's a core of land that's the first land, and then they start building rings around it as it goes outward. That core land is going to be very sought after. So if you get in early, I think uh, it's going to be worth it. Now, I, I want to be clear here. It says here, for each seasonal snapshot that a participant is included in, they received non-licensed exclusive rewards. So you're not going to yeah. be getting licensed anything through the OUP program, right? Yeah, Reese re said that yesterday too. Right. OUP is intended to be not supported by VV. It has to be its own thing. So they can only use VV exclusive IP. They cannot use actual Marvel, whatever. So if you think, if, like for me, the only thing that makes this worth it will be none of the collectibles as of now because they're probably, gonna, they're not licensed. They're probably not going to be that good. Yeah. Or they have to have utility. If they give you stuff with utility, that's going to be sought after, right? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe. land. Like, right, you're right. Or land, you gotta, everyone's going to go for that gold ticket. But I think that's the key here because MCP Pro can still get you free collectibles, right? Yeah. But OUP tickets here, it's the gold ticket that's giving us this value right now. So just keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Um, and then if you stick around for all four seasons, then there's a yearly reward, right, which they have here. So at the end of the year, you'll be handed out. And basically, you're getting a gold ticket no matter what. If you participate in Tier 1 through – then maybe that's all it takes, right? Through all four seasons, you're going to at least get one gold ticket. Yeah. Okay? And what is the real kicker here is that in staking season five, so after the yearly reward, each golden OUP ticket will be redeemable for an exclusive piece of land in the Viviverse. Land redemptions will only be available during this season using golden OUP tickets. That's it. It's the only way to get it. And we'll close at the end of a season five grace period. So let me be clear. If you want to get first shot at land, you need a golden ticket. Yeah. It's that simple. Now we understand why many VV influencers sold all of their collectibles for Omi. Because their only intention here is to stake in order to get golden tickets. Yeah. And they're well, going to use it. Yeah, go ahead, Joe. Reese, also, when we asked the question, I asked, we asked, is it, is it the only way to get land? He did say it isn't, but he also didn't say if it's first or if it's going to be the only one for a while like he didn't really go into detail but he did say that at some point you're going to be able to get land other ways right yeah so that and that's the thing though do you, if you want the first dibs this on the first guarantee. land this is a guarantee right the first land coming up but this is the thing it's not even a guarantee because i think if more golden tickets are provided than the land available oh. then it, it goes into a raffle you might get your golden ticket back yeah right so and then there's the one-time progression bonuses every time you you go up a tier level you're going to get uh, one-time bonuses. So I just that was just a quick overview of what the OUP is, what the MCP is. I think in the end, like the problem with the OUP is you need a lot of money locked up right now to yeah. get these rewards. So like I think tier one's 2,500. So if yeah. you really want... It's expensive. It's an expensive thing to do, right? So it's not that cheap if you want to yeah. get land to the Vverse. So if you had to, Joe... What are you doing, OUP or MCP, or are you finding the money for both? I think I think that's something that you want to at least make sure you get into tier one. Um, I think I'm going to be dabbling in both at first, and I think that long term, like I, you mentioned, you think they're parasitic. Reese mentioned he thinks that they work together. I think it's going to be a little bit of both. I think initially they're going to be parasitic because people only have so much money, and we only have so many users. But I think as time goes on and people use up everything that they have like i'm assuming that these things are going to get drained they all they have all these vehicles to spend mcp we see it now everyone's spending their gems right gems are a lot are are limited i think that's going to be the same thing when you get to mcp and oup and you move through all the ranks and the stages i think eventually they're going to be uh people trying to get into programs and if you have mcp points and you want to go for something then you run out of mcp points you might go and buy bronze tickets for the OUP, so that's when they'll start to work together where you're going to decide what makes more sense, what's more efficient, depending on the price of OMI too. Like, there's going to be a lot of factors that you're going to have to take into account, and nobody's going to be perfect at it. So I do think that you're going to have to use both programs to, to get the best, uh, the best bang for your buck, but it's going to be based off the timing of when drops come out. You might be better suited for MCP at one point, and then a drop might drop right after you used all your MCP points, and then you got to go into OUP, right? So I think, I think you're going to be able to use both. Uh, but for me, I think at the beginning, I'm going to try and be a little bit diversified. I'm not going to go all in on one thing like we're seeing some of the influencers because what if MCP is awesome too, right? Yeah, it's a good point. And it's very hard for me to let go of some of these collectibles. Like you can't use them anymore in AR. You're not yeah. going to be able to put them in your showroom. So 
in many ways, if you if you sacrifice some of your top tier collectibles, yeah. you won't be able to enjoy them. And we want to know your thoughts as well. Let us know your thoughts below. Are you thinking about OUP versus MCP right now? Yeah. Are you favoring one program over the other? What do you think about our discussion today? Are you going to go for that golden ticket? We want to know. Let us know below. And if you haven't already, don't forget. Become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the superstar fam. And hit the bell notification button to get every single video every single day. We got coming at you. We want to hear from you. So please, guys, let us know below. And uh, thank you all so much for your support. Also, superstar VIPs. Two ninety nine a month. Get the star beside your name. Get our drop spreadsheet. Get our market cap analysis spreadsheet. Get our four sweepy spreadsheet. Get first dibs on merch. Get uh, the ability for us to advertise. Uh, get a chance at the end of the month to have your name in the universe. We'll name a star after you from StarNaming.com. Guys, thank you all so much. We appreciate your support from the bottom of our heart. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.